Welcome back. In this video, we are going to understand how to make use of the lifecycle hooks with the Composition API. Since we've already been through the different lifecycle hooks, this video does not involve me having to write any code. Instead, I will be showing you how the lifecycle hooks can be registered when working with the Composition API. If you haven't watched the video on lifecycle hooks already, please make sure you watch it before proceeding with this video. The first thing to know is that the lifecycle hooks have been renamed for the Composition API. Nothing too different though, so let's learn the equivalence. I have this snippet from the view docs which best represents what I want to convey. On the left hand side, we have the options API lifecycle hooks and on the right hand side, we have the composition API. The before create and created lifecycle hooks have been replaced by the setup method which we've been using all along. For the rest of the functions, we have a straightforward replacement with the on prefix. So before mount is on before mount, mounted is on mounted, before update is on before update and so on. The view team has kept it pretty simple as you can see. The usage though is different as they all are functions that can be imported in the script block and used inside the setup method. Now what I've done is created two components to show the change in usage of the lifecycle hooks. We have lifecycle o.view where we have the options way of registering lifecycle hooks and we have lifecycle c.view where we have the composition way of registering lifecycle hooks. In lifecycle o, all the hooks are present as options on the component's default export. In lifecycle C though, in the script block, we import them and within the setup block, we invoke them passing in a function that needs to be executed when the hook is triggered. For example, on before mount is a function and to this function, we pass in a callback function which will be executed at the appropriate time in the component lifecycle. Of course, I have eight hooks in lifecycle o.view whereas only six in lifecycle c.view. This is because before create and created lifecycle hooks have been replaced by the setup method in the composition API. Like I mentioned, this video is more of a comparison of the two approaches than us having to write any code. However, I do hope that you now have a clear understanding of how to make use of the lifecycle hooks when working with the composition API. In the next video, let's make use of the onMounted hook to understand how template refs work with the Composition API. I'll see you guys in the next one.